with an act of vandalism at the oldest mosque in San Francisco. KPIX 5's Sean Chitness is live in San Francisco with the investigation and how the community is reacting. Sean. Well, Juliet, you can understand why members of this mosque are still on edge tonight, two days later, and you still have this reminder of what happened, the window taped up with the damage still there. And we're told that this is extremely rare. Those who have been coming to this mosque for decades say they can't think of another crime like this since 9-11. Fridays are always eventful for the Islamic Center of San Francisco. Members fill the mosque for prayers throughout the day. But last Friday night, an unwanted visitor late in the evening. Someone came by around 11 p.m. and threw a beer bottle at the window, spilling alcohol inside and spreading shattered glass on the floor. The suspect can be seen on surveillance video running away. We were scared. We were uncertain. You know, we didn't understand, you know, what was happening because we haven't, you know, experience something like this in our community in a long time. Photos show the damage before members of the mosque were able to cover up the hole. They tell us the whole window will need to be replaced and they want to upgrade their security system so everyone feels safe. We're not sure what the intent of this person was. You know, we're scared. As a Muslim community, of course, we're always a little scared. Police can't say either why the suspect threw a bottle at the mosque, but are early in their investigation. The crime is upsetting not only because of the damage done and the cost it creates, but because of what this mosque represents to its members. A prayer center, it's a community center, it's a, it's a, it's a home for Muslims. So, you know, when an attack like this happens on us, we feel like our home was attacked. This won't stop regulars from returning to the mosque, some already back on Sunday for afternoon prayer. And board members say they remain proud to be a part of this city. I believe in this community they view us um, not just as Muslim neighbors, but as neighbors, and that we're part of the community. We've had so many messages and, you know, hundreds of messages of support. Their doors are open to all, including whomever did this to their building. We're hoping to, you know, open more dialogue. Uh, we're hoping that the person who did this, um, you know, they someday will come and visit the mosque and sit down with us and, you know, learn from us. This is my local mosque. Um, this is home for us, and we're going to continue on as business as usual. <laughs> And those members of the mosque that we just heard from say that it's important to remember this is not just a house of worship, but also an important place they go to for life events, celebrations, as well as remembering loved ones they have lost. And the history, going back to the 1950s, we are told uh, this is one of the oldest mosques in California. Julia, yeah, back it to is you. unsettling, but uh, they are the community there, and uh, they certainly did get a lot of support as a result, so that's nice to see. Sean, thank you.